Two violent stabbings in two days. It appears both were innocent victims. The similarities chilling. The killer still out there. I hit now revealing what started out as an attack ended in a foot chase here Tuesday night. Was the suspect chasing him? You know, I don't have that information right now. We're trying to... Kulvinder Singh Sohi only made it roughly 75 meters before he collapsed near the railroad track. The 26-year-old died after he was stabbed in the back and chest, according to family. Weapon in his hand. It's like silver. Two days earlier, Sunday night, Jatinder Singh was sliced ear to ear. The 28-year-old survived. Both victims were sitting on a seaside bench along the popular pier in White Rock. Both attacked from behind around the same time of night, roughly 9 p.m. Both stabbed. Both South Asian men. Do you believe that that could be the case here, that this suspect is targeting South Asian men? What I can say is we're working with the White Rock RCMP who are investigating the first stabbing, which you referred to, to collect the information from there and compare it to our current investigation, our homicide investigation, to see if there are any links. The suspect description similar in both attacks, say police. A black man, 5 foot 11, wearing a gray hoodie and hat. We know police have collected a ton of surveillance video, but none of it is being released. This community is terrified. What can you tell us about what police think they're dealing with as far as this individual is concerned? We we're talking about two different situations that occurred here and to draw a link between them, there's obviously similarities between them, but we can't confirm at this time that it is the same person that was responsible for both situations. Do you believe that police right now have someone on video who is potentially a suspect or potentially a person of interest and you are aware of that individual on tape? Because we have substantial video from the area. So for me to rule out that we don't have the person, I wouldn't be able to say that. Why not release that tape then? Speaking to your point about needing witnesses at this point, that that's critical for this investigation. Why not release what tape you have? Well, I think we have four better cameras here right now, and that's what we're going to use to show the people this parking lot. Fear and frustration. Residents and business owners feeling like there was no police urgency until someone died. What are police doing that is going to give this community some peace of mind that we're not going to end up here again for a third stabbing? Well, you know, I'd have to direct that question to the White Rock RCMP. I don't want to speak for exactly what's happening, what decisions they're making. But what I can say, I've been here for an hour and a half uh, leading up to this press conference, and I've seen uh, more police officers around here than I have ever seen. IHIT says it's critical at this juncture that they speak to all witnesses and obtain all video. Even if you don't think you have relevant video, they want to hear from you if you were here between 8 and 10 p.m. on Tuesday night. Romina Dea, Global News.